Hey everybody, JMac here. I wanted to provide another quick video of using complex assertions to tighten up your tests. So what I've created here is a simple route which returns a view with some data inside it. And so the initial test you might write might simply just be that you asserted that it returned an OK response and it returned the correct view. And if we run that test, we'll see that it passes. But again, it's pretty soft. So what we can do is we can actually use a assertion that's built into Laravel HTTP test, assert view has. And in this case, we can say that the view data is going to get a shifts uh, variable, and we want to make some assertions on the content. And here's where that gets a little bit difficult. This is an eloquent collection, so it's a little hard to literally put what that eloquent collection represents here. So instead, what we can do is use a closure like we saw with Mockery. In this case, I'm going to pass it the variable that's sent to the view, shift, and I need to return true or false based on if this passes uh, my expected condition. And so since this is an eloquent collection, what we can do is we can take those shifts, we can pluck the ID, and then we can compare that to a known set of IDs that we expect were created by our factory. So in this case, I'm simply just going to pass in one, two, three to represent the three uh, products that I made here with the factory. And I want to make sure that the difference between those two collections is empty. And when we run this, we'll see that it passes. So just to prove that, I'm going to drop out one of these and we'll see that we get a failure here. Now it just says failed asserting that false is true because of the closure callback, but the line is correct, line 25. So let me make this passing again, and let's demonstrate this for another bit of complex data, in this case, passing the request. How could we confirm that we passed the entire request object down? Well, we can use the same assert view has, and what we'll do is return that the request is an instance of the illuminate request. That's what we would expect. And when we run this, we'll see that it passes. So just a way to use these built-in assertions to tighten up your test to give you more confidence that your application is behaving as expected.